Hey guys, it's Dr. Paul. Welcome back to my channel. I am sitting on a stool today, so if I'm moving all around and it's very annoying, please forgive me, I will get a handle on this. But if you've seen any of my videos previously, then you will notice that the background is different. In fact, we're in a completely different room. I had been shooting upstairs in our den, but it was very inconvenient because it's a shared space. So every time I wanted to film, I had to set everything up and then take it down. It was very much dependent on the lighting outside. Today, for example, it is storming, rainy, overcast, ugly. So it would have been very difficult filming in the den because there's just not enough lighting. There are tons of windows, but because we have so much, um, so many trees outside and back, it just casts a shade over everything. Anyway, so we moved down to my office or my home office. I did not think that filming down here would be possible because it's pretty dark down here too. It kind of feels like a dungeon. I feel totally isolated. It's right off of the kitchen, but it just feels like a totally different house or totally separate space. But we outfitted it with some lights and I think that it's going to work out well. Anyway, today we're going to talk about my favorites for May. And I have a smorgasbord of items in front of me. Smorgasbord, that's kind of a weird and ugly word. Anyway, I have a variety of items ranging from technology to skincare, but we will get into all of those now. Okay, before I show you the first item, I'd just like to say that I am a creature of habit. I hate change. I resist it with every fiber in my being. I tend to hold on to things so tightly and for so long, computers, vehicles, friendships, that too. But I finally broke down, well, I actually went happily to the Apple store and bought myself a new laptop. So, yeah. it is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now, I had a MacBook Pro previously. I think that it was probably 13 inches. I've had it for I'm going to say five or six years. I've had it for a long time and I just didn't want to get rid of it. I didn't want to transfer my files. I didn't want to do any of that. I just suffered with the, it was so slow and so sluggish and I had no room for anything. So finally I decided to go out and buy a new MacBook. And so I got the one with everything. It has as much memory, the best processor, like, he said, oh, but you could get this one and it has, I was like, give it to me. Oh, and we have, give it to me. I want everything that I can possibly have because I know me, I'm going to hold on to this forever. So I might as well get as much as I can now, even though I know next year it'll be different and there will be something so much better. But anyway, um, I love the space gray. I didn't even realize that they made the space gray. It is so pristine. It's like beautiful. I love it. I love that touch bar at the top. I mean, I may be behind the times, everybody else probably already has this, but it's like so ingenious and convenient. It's taking me a little while to get used to it, but I really, really like that feature. I love the sound, the clicking sound that my keyboard makes. Like my old keyboard sounds really horrible compared to this one. It's like, this just sounds so classy and it's just, you can tell that I've gotten an upgrade just when I'm typing. I'm serious, I know that sounds silly. But I love this computer, it's super fast. The screen is beautiful and brilliant. Really glad that I made the change, even though at first I really resisted. The only thing about my new Mac that I was not enthused about is the fact that instead of having USB ports, you have USB-C ports, and you have two on each side, those tiny little ports. Can you see that? I don't know if you can, but anyway. There's one or there are two, there's a coupling on both sides and that doesn't fit any of the accessories that you have, none. So that brings us to my next May favorite and it is this, it comes in a carrying case and it is this Hyperdrive Thunderbolt or USB-C hub and basically those two prongs fit onto your Mac and the Thunderbolt or USB-C um, 
sockets, outlets, adapt, whatever. And it has everything. It has an HDMI port, as you can see there. It has two of the USB-C ports. It has an SD card port, a micro SD card port, and then two ports for a USB cable as well. This pretty much stays attached to my Mac. This gives you a lot of versatility. It's very functional, very practical. You need something like this if you're going to have a Mac with these types of ports. All right, moving right along. Okay, now we're going to talk about my favorite skincare products for the month of May. The first product I have already spoken about in one of my previous videos, and it is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. If you have not seen that video, I will link it below, but I'm not going to go into any more detail on this product because I've already talked about it ad nauseum. Still love it, still using it every day. Check out the link below if you wanna hear more about that and some other products that I've already talked about. Okay, so the next product is this exfoliating pad. It's called Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Night Pads Extreme. I, I'm in love with these. So these pads contain 5% glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and hyaluronic acid. So what the glycolic acid does is it diminishes areas of hyperpigmentation. So it fades discoloration and dark spots. The salicylic acid prevents acne, and then the hyaluronic acid, the next product, actually I'm going to talk more in depth about hyaluronic acid, so I won't go into detail now, but basically it just makes you look younger. Another benefit of these pads is that it diminishes the size of my pores or the appearance of my pores. These are pre-moistened. I only use these probably two to three times a week. I also use them on my neck and I really recommend that if you're not using your facial products on your neck and your decollete, you should start because you've seen people who have a youthful appearing face but then their neck and their chest just look so old and there's not much that you can do to change that once it occurs. So you want to prevent that from happening and one of the ways to do it is to use good quality products on your neck and your decollete as well. And of course I have to open it and smell it on camera because that's what I do with all of my products. This one actually smells like lemons and I love lemons, ice and lemons, my obsession. Okay, the next product is this Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum by, can you see that yet? By Cosmetica. Okay, so hyaluronic acid. This one contains 1% hyaluronic acid. So what it basically does is it hydrates your skin. And with that hydration, your skin looks plumper, more firm, more youthful. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. I use this at night only and I don't use a moisturizer with it. I will apply these drops to damp skin this comes with a dropper, which allows you to be pretty precise. And it feels like um, it's a serum, so it's going to be more emollient, but it feels very slippery, very slick. Doesn't really have a smell. It absorbs really, really quickly. And you will notice from the moment that you put the serum on, how well it works. It works, I noticed the changes really, really quickly after I started using this product. And like I said, this a miracle product, love it. The last product in the skincare category for my May favorites is this Acne Wash by Humane. And this one contains 10% benzoyl peroxide, which is a pretty high percentage. So if you have sensitive skin, you probably wouldn't be able to use this one successfully. It's probably a little bit too harsh. Okay, so the reason that I believe that almost everyone should be using a cleanser or a product with benzoyl peroxide in it is because you prevent future breakouts and you treat your current breakouts. 
All right, so I only have, oh, my dog is barking because she's in her kennel because she doesn't know how to act right. I, I know you can hear that. I hope it's not bothering you because I'm not taking her out because she cannot always have her way. Anyway, so I only have one product in the hair products category and it is a product that I had used previously and then got away from it, used other products and then have gone back to it because I had been noticing that my hair was looking really dull and lifeless and dry and I use or I have been using pretty high-end hair products and I know that your hair gets tired of certain products, it stops responding to certain products. So what I did is I went back to this Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Conditioner. Now the conditioner does not contain sulfates. The shampoo does, but not the conditioner. So the smell, let's see smells like it smells like the beach and summer and ooh, it's leaking it just sort of like a baby powder and pina colada do you know those fragrances that are like coconut and lime verbena that's what this reminds me of it smells delicious i do i do love the smell so lately, since my hair had been looking so terrible, I've only been co-washing it with the herbal essences and it has done a great job at bringing the life back into my hair and making it look more healthy. Okay, now I have a couple of products for the runners. Okay, the first one is this device. And it's called a Tiger Lady Claw. I think my fiance bought this for me because I run. And basically what you do, it's plastic and then it has this foam grip in the center with a, a strap. You put the strap around your wrist. Well, that would be this one. Put the strap around your wrist and then your fingers fit into it like that and you hold it while you're running. Now, if God forbid someone approaches you or tries to assault you, you squeeze it and these claws come out. And I don't know if you can see, but the claws have little channels in them. So when you scratch whoever the assailant would be, it captures DNA. So not only can you defend yourself, but then you have some of their DNA so that when you file your police report and all of that, they'll know exactly who did it. Well, if they're in the database, anyway. I watch too much Law & Order, I think. This product is $30, but I checked the website and they're sold out. And I think they said that they wouldn't be available for a month or two. So if you're interested in this device, I would just check back frequently. Not Okay, the next product for my running girls is this two in, oops, <laughs> two in one hair and wristband by Scunchy, and I believe this is five dollars. I can't remember if it was five dollars for one or five dollars for two. I have two, so I think it was five dollars for both. It has this braided detail on the top. And then the bottom is a solid fabric and I'm going to turn this inside out and I've already separated it because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to separate but there's a velcro closure and then there's a pocket for demonstration remember my keys okay so my key and of course you just Put the key into this pocket. Of course, it's not going to go so easily on camera. And seriously, it's really never this hard. You put the key, there we go, put the key in the pocket and then you secure the Velcro closure and you put it on your wrist and then you don't have to hold your key or sometimes I, my running shorts or my 
leggings don't have the pockets, so I use this instead. So that's one less thing to think about, especially if you're going to be holding this as well. Nice little thing to have for runners. It's a good gift idea for runners. Okay, the next couple of items I have put into a category called conveniences because they're smaller items, very inexpensive, but they make my life better in some way. So the first item in this category is going to be this Ringo self-adjusting ring sizer. And I got these on Amazon and it comes with four, I think, four or five, four, maybe four of these ring sizers in a pack and it was not very expensive. I'll put the price down below when I link everything in the description box. And basically it looks like it looks like this. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. But approximately ooh, under a year ago, I dropped a bunch of weight, or within the past year, a lot of weight. Some intentional, some unintentional, but anyway, one of the results of that is that my engagement ring no longer fit and I don't know if you'll be able to appreciate it on but I tried every I didn't want to get the little beads put in or welded in I tried every ring sizer that I could get my hands on I did the one that looks like a noodle that gets disgusting in the inside the uh, spiral one same thing it doesn't work very well and it gets really gross I mean I tried everything this one works beautifully so you put it on it stays in place it once you get used to what it feels like on it won't really bother you um, my ring does not slide around doesn't move the next item in the convenience category is this toothpaste squeeze now I'm being really serious like this transformed my life so you can't see now but this is a regular tube of toothpaste there is a chamber for the tube you put it in and then you crank it it locks in place and you basically turn this as you use your toothpaste and it squeezes every last ounce of toothpaste out of your um, tube of toothpaste yes there's so much less waste but also it's just so much more neat and tidy and this is perfect for those with OCD. I'm serious, like you've gotta have this now. Okay, the last item in the convenience category is this 22 ounce tumbler. It does not come with the lettering. This whole thing was a gift for me or a gift to me from my fiance after my first 10K of the year. This tumbler is by a company called Fierce and I had never heard of them, but I just mentioned that about my weight loss and I had all of these issues. And after all of that, I became obsessed with ice and lemons. So everything has to be icy. I put ice in everything. I put lemons in almost everything, but I love iced coffee. And this tumbler preserves ice, I swear, for longer than 24 hours. If I let this cup of coffee, iced coffee, sit here, it's probably at least two hours old right now. Yeah, I drink very slowly. Then tomorrow I come back the same time, there's still going to be ice in here. It will not have melted that much. The coffee will taste almost the same. I don't know how they do it. It's double insulated. There's an airtight seal with the lid. It doesn't sweat this tumbler if you love iced coffee if you love ice anything and you need it to last for a while look into getting a tumbler like that i only have one pair of shoes to show you guys for my may favorites and it is this espadrille if you did not see my video on shoe trends for spring and summer I will link it below and this shoe is featured in that video so I won't go into too much detail but this is an espadrille by Free People. It has a velvet upper with metallic trim. The ankle ties it sits on a jute platform. 
really really pretty very stylish very comfortable if you like espadrilles um get this one you will love it before i talk about this next product i'm going to give you a little bit of background so mosquitoes love me and i live in the south and it's wet and it's humid and it's hot all the time and so we don't really get a respite from mosquitoes maybe like two weeks out of the year it's too cold but for the most part they are everywhere all the time so it's difficult for me to be outside because i will be eaten alive by mosquitoes so my fiance tells me that a friend of a friend son whoever had the answer but everybody says that i've tried everything i have tried every spray every cream every device i've worn the bracelets the necklaces i've put dryer sheets in my pocket i've used the victoria's secret perfume that was supposed to ward off mosquitoes nothing worked so i had given up so guy comes his name is kyle by the way he comes and he sprays and basically so our yard has a lot of trees and shrubbery it kind of looks like a jungle so he sprays the entire yard front back but basically the spray is made of a compound called pyrethroid which is a synthetic insecticide that is similar to a compound made by chrysanthemums i don't know why it works i'm just glad that it does so basically he sprays everything and it settles on the trees and the leaves and the branches and the grass or whatever. And once it dries, which it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to dry, it stays for a good two to three weeks. In those two to three weeks, I can go outside, I swear, not one mosquito bite. So it provides a barrier against any other mosquitoes coming into the yard and then it kills the mosquitoes that are already present. And this stuff is amazing. Um, it's, I think, $60. It is worth every penny. I would let him come every day if I had to, but the stuff works. It's not harmful to pets or children. Once it dries, there's no odor. I mean, we haven't noticed any other effects except the fact that there are no mosquitoes in our yard. The name of the company is Skeeter Reliever. I will link all of his information in the description box below. Very, very nice guy. Great product. Definitely, definitely check them out. So that is it for my May favorites. I think this top may be one of my June favorites because butterflies. I mean, let's just talk for a minute about the miracle that is butterflies. There is no way, physiologically speaking, anatomically speaking, that the metamorphosis from a caterpillar to a butterfly should ever occur. It's like a miracle. Anyway, I really like this top. So that's it for my May favorites. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, then leave them for me in the comments below. If you like this video or would like to see more like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget